Hey guys, welcome to another commentary on my diggity. This is going to be the BSL Season 15 semi-final Game 3 between I Love XTO and Bon Bon. And it has been a furious set thus far. Base trade finales in XTO's favor, which is why he is currently up 2-0. Upper left-hand corner of Bon Bon starting as the blue pro toss. Bottom left-hand corner, XTO as the red Terran. And I'm going to have to confess, this is mostly going to be a recast for me. Because I had started the cast on the usual Tuesday schedule, got interrupted, so this is kind of the bonus recast. This is going to be on Longinus, which actually, when watching that game, kind of appreciated Longinus a bit more. You got the Kakuru and Kakaru, I think that's the pronunciation, which is always fun on these maps. But you got a Mineral only, which is actually deceptively important. So it's a little bit more exposed on Longinus, as you can see. Oops, MT apparently left a thing. Let me go ahead and bring up... Do not disturb. You got double gas, though, over here. So now, because of this double gas, what this means is you can end up with an interruption of the mineral to gas balance a little bit. So that mineral only can actually be a, a fairly sizable factor. And if, if I recall, I might have to do the count really fast. There's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten mineral patches in Longinus to start as well, which means there's more opportunity to utilize that gas. Potentially is an earlier grab, which I think actually ends up favoring Protoss a little bit more than it does Terran. Because you can tack on a little bit more High Templar or get more gas for the Arbiter. Where Siege Tanks, though, no joke. Looks like I love XTO. Not going for a full steal on his front door. That left-hand side is an open channel. And it's interesting that he's going for this kind of corner blockade rather than the full front door blockade. There is a lot of area on Longinus as well. Where Dragoons, you can see Siege Tanks, Dragoons kind of attacking over that wall once range is upgraded for both equivalently. It looks like first scout is going to be in XTO's favor. Migrating upper left, we see cybernetic score before Zealot with an assimilator for Bon Bon. Bon Bon not yet sending out a probe scout, now wandering out with the probe scout fairly late. This is what, a 16 scout trying to hide. So acting like he might be going for a command. So the SCV being drawn up to block. Not really, uh, I'm not sure if that's providing really anything, but XTO Actually responding to that, so thinking maybe this is an expansion, opting, or a 12th Nexus, opting, kind of took the bait, so dropping Command Center here, potentially. So this is a very risky play on his part, because he only got a, sing a single Marine now to defend, which is potentially going to open up an attack for the Zealot, and now Bon Bon may be realizing, maybe potentially hoping that he's tricked XTO, Pocketing that Zealot in the corner, although this is just going to be losing time for him. Dragoon in production, no range, whirling as of yet for Bonbon. Bon. There we go. Mineral's not quite there yet, but the secondary problem for XTO is, is this isn't a full seal, and with the smaller Marine count, so now a bunker being built, I believe that's actually going to be in time for the Zealot to get here, but with the smaller Marine count, the Zealot can shoot this gap, potentially. And Zealot pl plus Probe, maybe can shove in and at least get some scouting information. Dragoon making its way down as well. I'm actually hoping to see a two or three gate opener for Bonbon bon and really pressure this front door with that abuse of Dragoon range. Especially because you can see Siege Chink staging down here. They don't quite reach and they're somewhat exposed on that front door and this is rampless as well. So two Marines in that bunker, third one on the way. This is going to be before the Zealot makes it here, but Bonbon bon staging up and now going. The Dragoon trailing. SCV's pulling off the line. This actually might have been a transfer. Now they're to blockade, but not quite able to block there. The Dragoon taking some shield damage before backing off, but this is going to force a Marine to chase down this Zealot. Factory. SCV going to take some damage, but this also gives Bonbon... Bon, go ahead and remove this panel. Going to give Bonbon bon full information, gets a Marine kill on top of it, and this is going to be SCVs that are going to be off the line. Forced to engage this. So sees the second Factory plop down as well. It's a good look at the SCV saturation. So working out really, really well for Bonbon. Bonbon bon, bon, grabbing a Nexus at his natural expansion behind this. The Zealot's still alive. Actually, is he going to get a bonus SCV kill? He's at least getting bonus SCV damage. Marine, second Marine going to trail down. Should be able to handle this before taking any damage. Machine shop dropping on that first factory. Single Dragoon there otherwise. And actually, I, yeah, I wish... I really like seeing the early pressure more because of Longinus. We saw, however, Nyokin pushing into Protoss, making it work against that. It looks like Bonbon bon instead going for an economic follow-up. Two more Dragoons going to join the front. First Dragoon 
attacking away, and now XTO needs to be careful because if he does not rapidly move some SCVs up to support three Dragoons with the Dragoon range with this bunker already fairly heavily damaged, they might be able to take down that bunker pretty rapidly doing so. One Dragoon a little bit too far forward needs to back out, actually getting some base damage there. Two SCVs pulling off the line very rapidly for XTO, so that's going to take a lot of damage and become close to following, but it looks like it is going to stand. Two machine shops dropping. First siege tank out. It looks like siege check is going to be the first research rather than vulture in mind, which I think is a wise position here considering there's already dragoons in position to box things out. And then siege tank's going to be very... I guess you could try to play it vulture play in the mid game to try to force a Protoss opponent on the defense and grab expansions that way. Missile turret also respecting information here that first dragoon being targeted just going to escape with a little bit of its life. That was a nice target from XTO to try to get the kill. Two gateways behind this. We do have a support bay before observatory, recognizing that there's a siege tank first. Play, and I think got good information otherwise to go like, okay, I've got time. Don't need to worry about vultures here. Also, the dragoon's going to seal up. I almost wish that Bon Bon was moving a little bit south here because I think there is a spot right here where dragoons can assail, although it would be momentarily because you got two more siege tanks on the way. But Assault kind of over that edge gets some damage done. Instead, though, Bon Bon fanning out, potentially wanting to engage Vultures and deal with that. And maybe get a Harassment to follow things up. Observatory actually being warped in on the front. Worker count just about even at this stage. Three Siege Tanks plopping a little bit forward, actually, to open things. So XCO showing some characteristic aggression and troop movement. It looks like they're going to go ahead and try to get one Dragoon, and they do manage to before Bon Bon is able to react with that spotting information. Group of Dragoons in the middle as the... Where's the shuttle? Trying to get cage where the shuttle went. Actually, Probe's moving out to maybe grab a base in front of this. There's the shuttle. Two Zealots loaded in. So Bon Bon looking to do a bit of harassment, maybe push... XTO back, but XTO may be going for a push here. He's got four siege tanks, unloaded the marines from the bunker, and he's got two SCVs. Risky play as the shuttle's moving in, so he's got no defense at the natural expansion. Reaver lands, and some vultures migrating up. SCVs are going to be able to escape what looks like a dud, but XTO not drawing his troops back. Now, this should be an indicator to Bon Bon, seeing no siege tanks at the natural expansion. He's got to have a thought that, okay, an attack has to be coming. Or those siege tanks have to be somewhere. But I don't see any reaction thus far from the Dragoons to engage this. But XTO just opting to take damage, losing SEVs there. And Bon Bon has a window before he needs to draw that shuttle back for defense to maybe get some additional economic damage done. Bon Bon sneaking, or sorry, XTO sneaking those troops around, now engaging those Dragoons. Along that right-hand side. Reaver still not making its way back. Okay, finally making its way back. A Dragoon dead on the front. But XTO in a good position. And that observatory is exposed. So if XTO hurries this up, he can get some critical tech infrastructure down. And he's got a really good foothold. Depending on the f how these siege tanks are going to stage up, though. These Zealot bombs. I think there's still a Zealot in there. Yeah, there is a Zealot in there. will be... Pretty effective here. Additional pylons being dropped in the background. Nice zealot bomb right there. Reaver dropping alongside. That's one siege tank down. Second one being scooped up. And now with that unsiege, Bon Bon moving in with the rest of his dragoons. Good army positioning there for him. Reinforcement's going to move up and take care of those siege tanks to the north. And with this, some vultures flooding forward. But Bon Bon taking a big lead is XTO. First of all, taking some economic harass. But also losing an immense amount of siege tanks. Forge being dropped, but it does not look like this is a tight seal for XTO. Vultures can sneak along that right-hand side. Not sure if Dragoons can get through there as well, so that Forge might need to be canceled to make sure that Nexus stays alive. Rather than going up and defending the Vultures, Bon Bon pressing the front, saying, okay, your siege tanks are down, so let me go ahead and get some damage. It looks like a fourth factory being dropped from XTO. Pumping more siege tanks and Vultures, and he's going to need them in a hurry. The shuttle... Not here. Is he going to try to funnel some troops over? No, actually. So very late reinforcement looks like it's just going to be two Zelts and a Dragoon to try to deal with that. I don't know that's sufficient to deal with all that. And just an A move 
of the Dragoons into the natural expansion with the shuttle not alongside. And so Bonbon bon losing some free troops. He's still got a supply lead. Lot might have canceled the Nexus last second. I don't think that was a Vulture takedown. That was a little bit too rapid right there. So potentially canceling that Nexus. But going to end up losing a lot of mining time. Losing two Zealots for free right now. And finally being bringing these Dragoons back. But it looks like he's going to expand to his Mineral only. To try to make up for this. Still an overall supply lead. Worker count's just about even. Does have a degree of map control. But a decent win. And honestly, I feel like Bonbon, bon, yeah, missed an opportunity. He's just drawing a handful of Dragoons back to deal with these Vultures. To go ahead and get a Nexus. And here's XTO doing XTO moves. Sneaking an expansion in the bottom right. But also grabbing it at that double gas. Man, these Dragoons having a trouble. Observer not there. Finally drawing back to deal with it. Looks like a probe's in position to go ahead and double expand. So expanding mineral only and also expanding the 9 o'clock position to tack on two quick bases, which I think is a smart maneuver considering how many troops were taken down. But XTO staying on top of that macro. Good amount of siege tanks. Still, I would argue, in somewhat of a defensive position. Finally, the Observer moving up to go ahead and potentially retake this base. XTO staging forward a little bit, and the Observer's going to see this, and this could be a nice false flag operation where XTO migrating out so while this is being cleared out, migrating out to go ahead and grab his mineral only. Unfortunately for XTO, yeah, he's sneaking an expansion right here, just hoping that it doesn't get scouted and can draw up. But Bonbon bon potentially rapidly going to go up to five bases to stay economically ahead. So third base coming online for XTO. This is a lot of territory to cover. I think he's just hoping that it doesn't get scouted. A shuttle and a handful of troops alone could wipe that out. So completely undefeated and just hoping that Bonbon bon does not migrate to that area. In the meantime, Bonbon bon has that mineral only and 9 o'clock coming online, moving some Dragoons forward. He does have a sizable troop count of 40. And it looks like an interior command center being floated out. I didn't even spot that being built towards the mineral only. So XTO going up to four bases, four bases in control for Bonbon. Bon. A flurry of commsats being dropped to confirm tech. I think he's looking to see whether there is a carrier switch or not. But now the question is, is can XTO hold this? and reestablish his economy to catch up to the troop, the superior troop count for Bonbon. Bonbon bon sees the SCVs moving to the south. That has to be an indicator to him that there's an expansion to the right. Looks like he's going to be able to press through that turret line. The Reaver dropping on top of three turrets, getting big explosions right there with that Scarab. The rest of the troops actually can pull back from that right-hand side. Needs to make sure he doesn't dive those in too far. The Reaver not able to get a shot off to get a second blast, but able to at least disrupt some SCV mining. And hopefully he saw that SCV migration to that bottom right-hand corner because that should be a big indicator for him that he's got a lot of troop movement that he can execute against XTO and really tax him here in the mid-game. Dragoons look like they're going to get cleaned up. A lot of gateways down. Let's see six currently. Looking for more to be tacked on for Bon Bon to really keep that cap lead. It looks like where he did have that big supply lead with kind of a an attack that... Honestly, could have gone better for him. Troop count's just about even, but re-macroing to get that lead. I think he, yeah, now he realizes it. Moving in some zealots over the double gas. Just that second gas is starting to get established. SCV scattering underneath that zealot line. Vulture's very quick to respond, so it looks like it is potentially going to be minimal losses. The shuttle scooping them right back up. But all Bonbon bon has to do is wait for another grouping of troops, and he can really pressure both locations. XTO should be able to defend both locations at once. He's got to make decisions. Nice Zealot Bomb against exposed siege tanks in no man's land here. Zealot scooping right back up. And with that, yeah, the Dragoon's going to cut the cross position. The second shuttle going to move forward, escorting that Reaver with it. The Vultures are no longer going to be enough with those Dragoons in position. The Observer's right there to go ahead and clear mines as well. So the Dragoon's got to scatter up. But man, that Observer's got to get in position. Needs to be a little bit careful. Getting a little bit lucky that the mind drags aren't happening. XTO now responding, but with a counterattack. Looks like the two shuttles going to cycle and drop to the main. One getting taken out, but Zealot's going to land. And this is going to be where there's, first of all, SCVs exposed, but also these armories. Let's see if Bonbon bon retargets. Dragoon's also attacking that bottom right-hand corner. Bonbon bon everywhere on the attack field. SCVs being taken out in, in slews. And yeah, finally working on that left-hand armory. That's really going to cut into the upgrades. It's actually, plus one weapons, plus one weapons, plus one armor are online. But it's going to be a while 
especially with that armory taken out. That command center actually not even bought. He's like, I got enough to go ahead and shove through this, but still hasn't been able to deal with this Reaver in the main. That armory starting plus one armor. Is that Zealot going to be able to finish it off? It's going to be close. Siege tanks accidentally take it out with an SCV. Just they're like, come on, man. Dragoons finally getting cleared out, but as all things are clearing out and we're kind of each player kind of licking their wounds and seeing what's left. 55 SCVs left to the 74 for Bonbon, bon, and Bonbon bon now taking that one o'clock base very comfortably, moving out with another attack grouping, and he can keep assaulting these locations. More Zealot Bombs moving in to take out more Siege Tanks on the high ground turret right there. One Siege Tank for one Zealot, a great trade. Another troop count with Splash taken out right there, and a, wow, just doing great with these shuttle attacks. And I'm wondering if he's going to stick to this, and with those troops out of position once again, exposing XTO's weak lines, and again going to pressure that mineral only. Love this from Bonbon. Bon. Constant troop pressure, cycling more troops down to go ahead and attack on multiple fronts, keeping XTO off balance and not able to defend any location at once. Tanks not sieged. Looks like they were attack moving to this location. Bonbon bon does need to focus fire these troops. Ah! Walks headlong into a mine. SCV's trying to fight their way through this. But it looks like, yeah, Siege Tank's going to be taken out, and this command center now at risk of being completely wiped out. SCV's desperately trying to repair under Dragoon Fire. It looks like they're just going to escape. Bonbon bon can refocus fire. Let's see if he can go ahead and wipe that out. And this is going to be big victory. Look at the supply count difference now. Bonbon bon well ahead. Takes this command center out. Single gas online there, no, so no double gas. That's being denied. The Dragoons actually might even be able to just march straight to the right. There are Forged Siege Tanks here. But with reinforcements of Speed Zealots, might be able to just sweep straight up. A counterattack grouping of Vultures, very wise. Expecting some Zealots. Maybe wants to retest. There's a single cannon there. Trying to draw the troops back. That is going to draw Bonbon bon back. And actually, I, I feel like this is... Okay, some probes were transferring. I feel like this might have been a mistake, though. Because let the vultures go, sacrifice the probes. He's actually oversaturated in probes right now, so Exio would have been doing him a favor. Could have just pressed an attack and probably sealed the game right there by wiping out this double gas base. Looks like now he's starting to stage up, but there has been time to get more siege tanks, a supply depot in the way, a minefield in the way. So now Exio in a much more solid position, but Bonbon bon still with a dominating lead. And is actually doing pretty well in the upgrades. Plus one weapons, plus one armor. So actually even on upgrades, which is rare for Protoss at this stage of the match. Kind of rare at the 17 minute mark. To not have uh, higher upgrades for Terran. Level 2 weapons just about to finish. Science vessels with EMP going to come online as well. We've got, looks like, seven factories underneath for I Love XTO to pump troops out. A lot of gateways for Bonbon. Bon, and Bonbon bon can play... Gateway Man style. He does have the double Stargate behind this. I'm not sure where the Arbiter Tribunal is. I assume it is somewhere and potentially potentially on the way if it isn't yet laid. XTO sealing back up, so I, I feel like he's got he knows he's got to play more towards that 200-200 mark. Maybe sneak an expansion, but Bonbon bon expanding everywhere behind this. Going to take that inside 3 o'clock location is starting to clear things out to maybe go ahead and grab the rest of the bases there, also clearing mines up on the high ground plateau to keep XTO in the dark and say, yeah, you just sit back on the bases you got. Because of that disruption earlier, still has his main operating where you see the mains mined out. So this is going to be, let's count at one, two, three, four, five base. Five base Protoss versus two base Terran effectively. Zealots and Dragoons once again shooting the gap. Shuttle style in the mid game rather than the Arbiter. I wonder, if, but uh, seeing smaller shuttle counts at this stage. Exio defending both locations pretty well and can go ahead and reestablish the lone Dragoon getting left. It looks like a Dragoon did manage to sweep out that SCV at the 3 o'clock location, a probe moving in to go ahead and grab that. So Bonbon bon going to mine everywhere, build up a bank. He's near 200 supply. Now all he has to do is chisel away at Exio's army. Take shots here and there, and he'll be in a great position. That natural expansion looking somewhat thin. So this is basically putting XTO down to two mining bases. The main, I'm not going to count because it's basically mined out. And you got a lot of probes saturating everywhere. In fact, some probes need to die 
to fill in that troop count in between. So this troop count is a little bit deceptive because you got about a 20 probe. So deduct 20 from that count. It's still a dominating position, but it's not as dominating as it might look otherwise. Upgrade count looking good. And staying even with the Terran upgrades, at least in number alone. Goliath joining the attack force in anticipation of the Arbiter, but it looks like only one Arbiter currently fielded. More gateways being tacked on at various locations to potentially play the refugee style down the line. Should that be necessary. But all Bon Bon, bon, bon in a great position. All he has to do is, yeah, chisel away, drop some stasis, pick off, do some more Zealot Bombs if Xtio tries to move out. Make sure he doesn't lose too much, or if he basically be where Xtio isn't. He does have two shuttles in the midfield to potentially engage right there. Another grouping moving alongside. Siege Jinx on that low ground trying to shove their way up to the high ground. Some gateways being plopped down at the 3 o'clock location. Again, Bon Bon has a huge bank to work with as well. Xtio making his way towards that 200, 200 count, and that's one thing with Terran, you can't count them out when they have a maxed out army and something close to late game upgrades. Mech is just so strong, and it really is up to Protoss to engage wisely. Several Arbiters out in the field, building their energy. Third Stargate being dropped, which I think is affordable. I'm trying to find where that Arbiter Tribunal is dropped, because I want to see, there it is. Looks like energy being upgraded. Potentially to have more stasis or recall potential down the line. Exio near max starting to move forward. And now he's got to play the hard, hard job of whack-a-mole while dealing with stasis, zealot bombs, reavers, everything else. However, Bon Bon does need to engage, and right now he's out of position. Just allowing troops to move forward unimpeded to the 3 o'clock, so they're easily going to be able to wipe out this location, here's one thing we've noticed from Xtio in the past, is he is really, really good at dedicating a few amount of troops, wiping out bases rapidly, picking right back up and engaging at another location. It looks like Bon Bon wants to go for a recall, has the energy, but not quite able to execute there. I'm not sure recall was the... Honestly, I wanted to see stasis more than recall. A bunch of gateways now going to be lost, essentially for no cost. Another Arbiter out in the field, making its way towards the double gas. Second gas actually hasn't been claimed. Has energy. Recall lands this time. Couple siege tanks there. So it looks like one base going to be taken out. Reinforcements quickly moving up in the form of vultures. Concentrated fire on that command center, so it's gone. So XTO now starving for minerals. But at the same time, he still has a huge standing army. And was just able to wipe out a big mineral cash in infrastructure from Bonbon. Bon. So Bonbon bon still needs to be wise with his engagement. Has double the bank sitting in. Exio down to 42 workers following this up. But he has cleared out potential territory to grab here at the 3 o'clock. So Bonbon bon needs to stay on guard. Needs to keep pressing with his attacks. More troops moving out in midfield. Bonbon bon losing looks like two bases for it. And actually the the drop in pro count might actually be assisting him. Still going for Zealot Bombs over these mines. Doing a good job with it. No Observer alongside. So it looks like the Dragoon's going to eat some free mine fire. Siege Shanks scaling up. Zealot's not quite in front. Getting blocked out a little bit by those Dragoons. Not quite able to get in position. They are able to take out a handful of Siege Shanks on the front. But the Dragoon's... Getting completely annihilated and walking across minefields on retreat to also get taken out. Is that Reaver going to... Yeah. Reaver also going to get wiped out. So bad mine discipline on Bon Bon's part. Losing him the army and actually the supply lead after that last attack. Needs to remax rapidly. He does have the gateways to do so. But as of this moment, XTO suddenly with the supply lead. Regrabbing that double gas. Sitting off two bases. Still has a formidable standing army. Bon Bon... Jumping ahead 10 supply. Also needs to keep that Arbiter count high. And it looks like he is being diligent in doing so. Wondering if he... Yeah, he didn't have stasis upgraded. So working on stasis and additional upgrades behind this. Level 3 weapons, level 2 armor, level 1 shield. Level 3 weapons, level 2 armor. Basically, 
No, it's not max, but close to max. That level 3 weapons is important for Terran. The late game army. So both players regrouping. I wouldn't be shocked to see some distance mining from XTO if he can sneak it. But he is staging up towards the 9 o'clock location to go ahead and take out this base of Bon Bon's. And Bon Bon, I don't even know where his standing army is. He's got some Dragoons that looks like pinned in a little bit to that location. The rest staged out at his natural expansion. He has a 200 supply army, but it is not out in the field. Maybe to stage up for recalls. And he is a hop, skip, and a jump from losing two bases at the mineral only and the 9 o'clock. XTO creating a sheer line between them. Moving up Mine placement behind. Engaging from the low ground and able to siege both locations simultaneously. Bon Bon scattering troops to get moving. So losing two bases that are, to be fair, mostly mined out, but still precious resources and losing more territory for free. He's counterattacking, assuming there would be expansions here at the 3 o'clock. There's nothing there. And at this stage, I think he just needs to start engaging XTO's army. Recall at the mineral, or sorry, at the double gas. Once again, but plenty of siege tanks there to go ahead and clean this up. Bonbon bon tossing the match a little bit. And he is not in a situation where he can afford to toss matches. Has a plenty of resources, but needs to keep up with macro. And at some point needs to engage XTO's army. XTO not that far from his natural expansion. Nine o'clock location completely cleared out. So now it is one base versus two bases, technically a Terran economic lead. The rest of that recall army getting cleared up and Bonbon bon has, first of all, in the red, has a standing army, but isn't currently in a situation where it looks like he's can engage XDO. XDO finding some shuttles midfield. High Templar in, are in some of these locations, that double gas. And that is a big bundle of troops. Some storm drops could be incredible back here if they can just land. But XTO continuing to bully. Another recall attempt moving in. Going to catch this patch, I assume that patch, right over the siege tanks. But this is going to turn potentially into yet another base trade in game three. Base trade situation. Think Bonbon bon, a little better si situation here to execute it. Storm obliterating the SCV line. Archon morphing behind it. XTO re-engaging. It looks like there's another Nexus trying to be created here at the 3 o'clock location, but that is not going to be up for long. Let's see if Bonbon bon is able to cancel it in time. Several siege tanks already right there. Doesn't look like he's making maneuvers to do so. And now that 1 o'clock base also in threat. So a bunch of resources left for Bon Bon. But he needs to make good use of them. Still with a sizable supply lead. He's cut XDO down to 33. 33 workers. However, XDO slamming his way up into the 1 o'clock location. I don't see any movements to engage that army. Some nice drops. And Storms clearing out some Siege Shanks and Goliaths. Midfield. Dark Templar fielded. Clever play. Comsat going to be able to clean that up. Shuttles returning to go ahead and resupply. That will be helpful. And we have three Arbiters, which might be the saving grace of the 1 o'clock base. Nobody mining. Sorry, mining the mineral only. That is the only mining that's happening. So it's, I, I take it back. One base versus one base. Thought that was mined out by now. Miscast. Dark Templar trying to buy some time. Some great stasis landing, though, from Bon Bon to save the day. He's now expanding into that 3 o'clock base, wiping out troops along the way and taking a big lead. If he can hold it. Yeah, just stage some troops around this. Go ahead and kill what morphs. A lot of mines midfield, but aside from that, XTO down to 123 supply. Trying to drop more missile turrets and reestablish that double gas. Beneath 1k minerals. And Bonbon bon going ahead and retaking everything along that right hand side. Siege tanks coming out of their slumber just to get obliterated. XEO 
once again pressing out in the field, but yeah, Bonbon bon needs to make sure he presses this advantage. See, Shank's still clearing out everything at that 9 o'clock. A bit of a lull. Arbiters have plenty of energy to maybe go for a death blow, because honestly, a recall into here, if they can get past all of these turrets on top of the Siege Shanks to once again wipe out that double gas. I think that would be a potentially end gaming, uh, game ending blow. However, that is a lot of turrets to try to get across, and it looks like a big EMP landed. Able to at least sweep out some energy and shield from a handful of those troops. Vulture wandering in. XTO with what Siege Tanks and Goliaths he has wants to press into that 3 o'clock location. Down to his last minerals here. Dwindling down. Starting to press back. Big army to the north. Arbiter's right there as well. Now careening down a handful of mines in the way. But this is too much. Good stasis. EMP actually able to hit all, th well, three of the Arbiters. One left has one stasis remaining. Siege Tank still on the high ground, obliterating Dragoons behind on the trailing end of this attack force. Another stasis lands. So Bonbon bon is going to be able to go ahead and defend and clear this out and establish everything at the 3 o'clock. And with that maneuver, I think he's closing out the end game here. Dist SCV's moving the distance to get to this double gas. Neither gas online. But this mineral only looking somewhat thin. This feels like, I guess it's been taken out a bunch of times. So I'm like, what, when is this thing going to mine out? One o'clock base gone. Probes need to actually make their way to the three o'clock to get mining again. Cystron trying to clear out those vultures, but dodging in and out of it. Three last siege tanks behind this. 60 supply lead for Bonbon bon and growing. However, Bonbon bon does, does need to get his economy back and rolling. Still in a good spot. XTO at sub 100 supply. Moving up, might be able to take out these Arbiters as Bonbon bon engaging them with Goliath. So it looks like he's happy to go ahead and let those drop. Has another army starting to flood out. Does need to make sure they move out rapidly to this bottom right-hand corner. Good stasis as that Arbiter gets wiped out on the forward field. The Dragoons and the High Temple are pushing the rest of this army back. Great storm! Over the Vultures. And it looks like the Dragoons are going to be able to hold this location. Mine's finally being cleared out of the midfield. Feels like they've been there. That area's been constantly mined. Kudos to XTO for being diligent in that regard. I think I missed an attempt to recall here where I think another Arbiter got obliterated. Tank's going to come out of stasis once again to get wiped out. Bonbon bon, once again at 200 supply. Trying to save these siege tanks with a single siege tank and vulture, but it's not going to happen. Trying to retreat. The Dragoons, some of them getting pulled uphill. Bonbon bon going ahead and drawing them back. All he has to do is now defend everything on the east side of the map. And he will be able to easily careen his way to a victory. Dark Templar scouting forward. I say scouting because it's going to get wiped out pretty rapidly here. Bonbon... Bon, Still determined to stay in this match, looking to go ahead and wipe out that Nexus. If he can apply pressure, wipe this out, maybe he can get back in this match. But Bonbon, bon, moving in with reinforcements, has a ton of Dragoons, a ton of Zealots moving in. As soon as he gets all of this gathered, should be able to wipe out that attack force. And it looks like he is doing so, staging them back briefly. Mix it in with Dark Templar as well to try to force Comsats out. Archon bombs making their way up. Don't even need to drop. Never mind. Dark Archon. Mind controlling at this stage. <laughs> to kind of rub a little bit of salt into the wound. Hard to tell what type of uh, Archon it was in the shuttle there. Clever maneuver. I'm wondering if he wants to steal an SCV with this. 
But now Bonbon bon saying, get out of the game. I got a science vessel. Walking forward. And XTO, yeah, overstaying is welcome. He's got one base left versus the three mining bases. Not much of a bank to work with. He does have a lot of mines. But not a sizable siege tank army. A dropship walking its way out. I'm not sure what that was going to accomplish at this stage of the match. Maybe try to rescue these siege tanks as they're kind of pinned into that 9 o'clock location. Bon Bon, having in a familiar territory, he's been walking in that kind of no man's land area for a long period of time back and forth. Restaging. You can just sit back, Max, make sure he's saturated at this right hand corner, and I don't see any way for XTO to get back in this, to be honest. He's got a handful of siege shanks left, but as long as Bon Bon doesn't break his keyboard. Yeah, finally these siege shanks make their way back out. As long as he doesn't break his keyboard, should be able to just A move with reinforcements across what XTO has left. XTO, though, grouping up a scary amount of mech to go ahead and barrel forward. And again, I see like the 200 supply count, but I have, or near the near 200 supply count, but I always am wondering kind of where it's staged for Bon Bon. Because actually these vultures and these siege tanks actually might be able to press through what's here. Instead, there's going to be a recall into the double gas. Dark Templar there as well. Zelt's mixing it up amongst the SCV line. This is the last mining base for XTO. XTO going to counterattack, I assume, and try to press in. Command Center being lifted off. Try to salvage the SCV scattering to the siege tank line. And XTO pressing in to go ahead and try to wipe out some bases. Reinforcements making their way across. They are coming in a little bit piecemeal. The Arbiters... If they have enough energy to drop some stasis, might be able to save the day. But once again, Bon Bon trading a bit of mining time for XTO and maybe going to lose two bases. Slew of stasis drop to thin that grouping. And that should open up enough time for reinforcements to go ahead and clear out what's left. There are cannons in the way. Bon Bon zealots arriving just in the nick of time but not in time to save that Nexus. So Bon Bon, making XTO honestly looking, look a little bit better in his position than he is in the late game here. Spreading out those units to wait for those units to come out of stasis to wipe them out once again. That is a lot of units in blue crystal right there. A lot of supply. Unmorphing and Bon Bon a little out of position so he's going to lose some Dragoons. As a result, but XTO going to GG right there, realizing he's just too far economically behind. And we are going to move on to a game four. Fun matches between these two guys thus far. Intense macro matches. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.